Hello everyone and welcome to my bar. My name is Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. Now, I am no expert mixologist, but like anybody tending bar with a vaguely nautical theme, I have a adventurous spirit and a willingness to try anything once. Uh, so, since I don't have a call list, my, my cocktail list is blank, what do you say we make up something completely new using only the roll of the dice and my willingness to try anything once? And it, tell you what, if the cocktail comes out well, I'll, uh, I'll uh, tell you how to make it. How's that sound? Cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started then. We're going to roll some dice to choose some of our ingredients. Now, since I'm in a completely new bar here at the Capstan Bar in Racine, Wisconsin, uh, everything's a little bit higgledy pie and we are trying out some new stuff. So uh, instead, I've got, uh, I've got some mixers over here on the side and this rack of alcohol behind me. So we're going to do uh, a little bit different from our usual format. And I'm going to start off with the roll of a D6 to choose our mixer. All right, so let's go ahead and roll that D6. All right, we've got a five. So starting from here, one, two, five. We're doing ginger beer today. Excellent, good, good, solid mixer, nice, solid flavor. Uh, it's gonna have a really aggressive gingery flavor and um, hopefully we can get some aggressive liquor flavors to go with it. Uh, and speaking of, let's go ahead over to our liquor matrix. We're gonna roll a D10 to choose the row and a D6 to choose how far back in the row I'm going. Uh, so let's go ahead and roll that D10 and D6. All right, so. Second rank, first one, creme de banana. <laughs> All right, creme de banana. This is going to be good, I can tell. All right, but we can't have just one liquor and one mixer. Let's see what else we're going to put in here. One and, oh, we're back to the Frangelico with one and one. All right, so we've got creme de banana, Frangelico, and ginger beer. This is going to be an experience. I'm excited to see how we can make this work. Uh, I'm guessing badly. Uh, but the last thing I need to do is uh, roll a d12. And here's our roll. Eight. All right, so an eight on the bar terms chart is free pour. All right, free pour is exactly what it sounds like. I won't be measuring any of the ingredients going into today's cocktail. So uh, your guess is as good as mine what the balance is going to be like. Free pour. Uh, yeah, it's that's exactly what it means. It's just not measuring, which uh, is kind of my style. So I'm into it. So let's go ahead over to the bar top cam and see what we can make out of ginger beer, creme de banana, and Frangelico. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble this one in a shaker bottom uh, as a mixing glass. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our D6 of cold damage. And let's see. Creme de banana and Frangelico. There is no such thing as balance in this cocktail, if I'm guessing, so. Let's go ahead and try for, I don't know, half an ounce of creme de banana. Because I have a feeling that's going to be aggressive. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what kind of banana they use to make that, but, uh, right? You know the thing about banana flavored stuff? Hypothetically, it's all based on the Cavendish banana, which is a banana that doesn't exist anymore. All right, we're gonna try for about an ounce of Frangelico. Hopefully I did that right. And ideally we're gonna get like a bananas fostery sort of thing out of it. Uh, and let's see, what can I do to Add to that. Well, no, because the ginger beer is going to completely ruin that. What can I do that is going to make that more palatable? Friends at home, I'm going to go rogue on this one. I think this needs a little bit of rum. I 
think a little bit of spiced rum is going to help this out. Go for the black rum. I've been advised by my studio audience to go for the Blackheart Premium Spiced Rum. All right, so let's go ahead and get about an ounce of Blackheart in there. All right, that's probably more than an ounce, but here we are. We're free pouring today. So that's a good spiced rum. Um, and yeah, I think that that's gonna help it hold up to our ginger beer a little bit better. So let's go ahead and give that a stir. And I'm going to top it with the ginger beer in the glass. All right. So now that we've stirred that, let's go ahead and strain it into a glass. This feels like a low ball sort of drink to me. Top it with ginger beer. And we're going for about four ounces of ginger beer. So if I've done that right, then you have a new cocktail. If I've done it wrong, I'm going to make a weird face and I can just feel it coming on. So. The last question we have to ask is, what do we call this monstrosity? So let's uh, let's go ahead and roll a d20 to pick a name off of our names chart. Two. All right. So what does a two get us? Triple crit. All right. This feels this feels right. Um, those of you who have been playing for a little while uh, probably remember the era when critical rolls had to be confirmed. You had to roll a 20, and then you had to roll another 20 or an, another hit in order to confirm that you actually got a critical and not just, you know, a good hit. Uh, on my tables, I allowed for something called a triple crit, whereas if you roll a uh, 20 and then another 20 and then confirmed that second 20, I would let you just blow up the enemy most of the time. Uh, so this is almost certainly one of my uh, home players uh, trolling me from years and years ago. And I appreciate you, Josh. I appreciate you. Uh, I, I allowed many, many of my key bad guys to be completely blown up or you know killed uh, unceremoniously thanks to a triple crit. Uh, and one of our PCs, actually, that was their heroic death, was being triple crit by their new character as they crashed in through a ceiling. So it's uh, it has a long and storied history on my personal uh, home games. So uh, I have a feeling that this one may just make me suddenly explode, and we'll see if I've got the special effects budget for that. Uh, so let's go ahead uh, and uh, and give it a taste. So here we are with the triple crit. It smells like a nightmare. I don't know how I keep doing this, but that's delicious. I think I think the rum really evened it out. Uh, ginger beer and rum, always a winning combination. There's nothing in the world, apparently, that can't be solved with ginger beer and rum. Uh, the banana flavor is in the background, so I did a really, uh, I, I got lucky on that one. Apparently half an ounce-ish of that was exactly the right call. And uh, the Frangelico is giving this lovely top note of hazelnut to the existing mix. And uh, I gotta say, it's surprisingly balanced. It doesn't leave a weird aftertaste. It does smell like a nightmare, so. <laughs> that banana liqueur might be, or uh, but creme de banana might just be mostly scent. Yeah, yeah, do, do we have a clothes pan? Oh, no, no. Ah, perfect. Um, but no, that's, this is surprisingly good, friends. The triple crit, 
surprisingly good. So what kind of adventure do we put the triple crit into? I feel like the triple crit, true to its name, wants to be in a, an adventure that is high destruction. You want to you wanna get into a space where, where everything is, is amped up to 11. And the way that a cocktail fits into that, I feel, is almost as a potion. I wonder if we, we work this into your, into your game by giving it to the uh, adventurers right before combat starts. You know, you've, you've been given this cocktail by your cocktail amancer, uh, to be trademarked by me, uh, <laughs> and, uh, in like a bottle or something, and you get right up to the, the beginning of your combat, and you swirl it around, and everybody takes a big drink out of it, uh, and you're expecting it to be this terrifying, bracing, you know, strange concoction brought to you by the, the you know, devils of whatever hell is in your adventure. Uh, and then everybody's like, oh, it's actually, it's quite pleasant. And it sends them into combat with this, like, happy note prepared to do their worst. Um, it, it does. It feels like it's got to be a, a potion of heroism or something that's going to um, inspire you to greatness. Uh, so I realize that's not usually, uh, that's not quite the, the world building story that I usually go with, but it really does feel appropriate as the preparation for a mighty battle uh, to give something like the triple crit. It's, it's again, it's, it's rarefied stuff. Bananas, which are clearly not a thing you can grow in Western Europe. So we're again doing this, like, stuff that your adventurers are unlikely to have run into being put into their faces right before they do something epic. So there you go. The triple crit. Some sort of, uh, some sort of adventure tonic or a potion of greatness. And hopefully it'll be a potion of greatness for you as well. Uh, make it at home, take pictures, let me know how it goes, and uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe on the video, all the things YouTubers tell you to do. And until next time, drink adventurously.